99 seats, a cast of eight. It's meant to be a creative statement piece. Difficult, risky, bigger. Yeah! It's definitely a financial risk. It's also a little bit of like a dream fulfillment project for all of us. Uh, off Broadway, baby! It is a busy time right now because I am trying to get all of the projections and stuff done. Last night I was testing all my projections on my garage. I've been working really hard on this and I really want it to be successful. One of the motivations behind it is that maybe by the time this project comes out, you'll know that uh, Becky and I are having a baby. And um, with Becky being pregnant, it's sort of obviously also scary to leave her for six weeks, but this is maybe one of the last times I can leave for six weeks straight and work on something so creatively involved, at least last time for a while. I've never put up a musical or anything like this of this scale, so uh, it's like a life accomplishment and something I really, really want to do because I don't know if I'll get another opportunity to do it. And um, I, I'm not sure if we have enough time to make it happen. I also have to go to Mexico for Zach's wedding. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm scared. And also I feel, uh, I feel bad that the other guys are starting the workload without me. The big travel hack for Lou Burger is get on the plane as fast as you can because you've got all this gear. And if you get on the plane too late, you might not have space for it. Bye. <laughs> Actually, I was really tired. I took a nap. I just have no idea what tomorrow holds. I'm Huey Stonefish. I'm the music director of The Wizard of Friendship. I'm also a member of Lou Burger. The Wizard of Friendship is unique because it is truly a combination of Keith, Huey, and Alex. I have a lot of fear about the show and anxiety. I am not only a member of Lou Burger, I'm a nonprofit co founder. I run a production company. I'm making a new album. I'm a working freelance songwriter and producer. You know, I so admire that people come to the show because they love Keith and what he does. And what are you most excited for tonight? To see Keith. Keith. Yeah, we love Keith, that's okay. Are you excited for the Lou Burger show tonight? Absolutely. What are we most excited about other than seeing Keith? The whole show. And I want to pull my weight in that regard. I want, when people come to Lou Burger shows, they're like, Huey, I love your music. You said, this year, I'm gonna make Wizard of I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's exactly how you said it to me. <laughs> and I was like, I believe you. And here we are. And here we are. So, congrats, man, and thanks. You too, buddy. You may now stomp the glass and kiss each other. <laughs> Okay, so this is the living room, which actually has an excellent view. Look at this view. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like, a, it's a, a cool view of Times Square. My name is Alex Lewis. I almost just said I'm 5'9". That's really funny. I wrote The Wizard of Friendship with Lou Berger, with Keith and Huey. So in real life, I'm very anxious, I'm very neurotic. When I was writing that character of myself, I just kind of turned it up as high as I could. Sometimes when I'm sad, I think of my dad and think about calling but cry. And I did that for each of us in The Wizard of Friendship, which is a musical about us having a fight on stage and then being transported to a whimsical place called Nofrendia, where we're turning into monster versions of ourselves. We have to save our friendship in order to get back in time to finish our comedy special. So in the show, my character's super anxious, Huey's character feels underappreciated, and Keith's character is too busy for Lou Burger. And with Keith not being here and not rehearsing with us for a couple days, I am feeling very anxious. Okay, Wednesday night. Wednesday night, that's right. We'll see you Wednesday night. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. For our off-Broadway debut, we hired really talented New York City actors who can sing, dance, and act to be in our ensemble. Hey, Emily! Hi! 
My name is Emily Martinez, and I'm part of the ensemble of Wizard of Friendship. I really find that the ensemble, especially when you work together and you find your groove, can truly be the heartbeat of a show. <laughs> My name is Nia Noemi, and I am the Wizard of Friendship slash Ensemble. This is my off-Broadway debut, and it's surreal. <laughs> it's like, it's little Nia's dream. <laughs> Five, six, it's a stupid idea. Let's take a proper 10. Ten. Proper 10, go back to 11. Nico is our choreographer. We met him when we were working with the cast of Anne Juliet, the Broadway show. He's in it. And we are just so lucky to have him as our choreographer. They're gonna be like so good by the end of this run. They're gonna be like world class dancers, I promise you. It's going fine. It's going good. Not nervous yet. Hello, I'm Shaq Hester. I am Flim Flam Understudy, but more importantly, Ensemble. The show plays on everything that I am, which can be homoerotic, which can be zany, which can be corny. I'm gonna cross my, cross my, cross my legs! I'm gonna cross my legs! I can't do cross my, cross my legs. It just doesn't work. You wanna sing high yeah. while you're jumping around. This is something that's very light, something that I can get lost in. Hi, I'm Aria Renee Karaming. Uh, I am a swing in The Wizard of Friendship. Aria is our onstage swing, which means not only are they in the show, they're covering like every part. This isn't just a job, this is what I love. And once I moved here and went to school here, I realized like, this is definitely what I want to do for the rest of my life. Especially as a queer Filipino American actor, I don't already fit a lot of casting types. So being here today is just wild. My biggest thing for everybody is just, and I think for the world, is yeah. just get out of your head. I tried to do a booty shuffle. It's so great to meet you all in person for the first time. I'm really, really thankful that you're doing this and excited that you're doing this. We really, really appreciate it. The four of you. Thanks for having us. Let's fucking ride. Yeah. <laughs> Today's rehearsal, man, was amazing. I'm sure it was now that they're all fairly rehearsed, I'd imagine. Dude, it's awesome. It's so freaking cool. Be whoa! Be whoa! Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's <laughs> all you got? Yeah! We're supposed to bring more? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Brian Wool, and I play Flim Flam the Sausage Man in The Wizard of Friendship. Here's our new home. This is bigger than Keith's room in Chicago. When we lived together, he lived. Oh, well, there you go. It's, it's something different. smaller than this. Yo, he was here. <laughs> they literally just got here. I mean, remember again that Brian's not really a singer, and it's okay if we end up doing a more speak sing approach. The LA version sometimes didn't even have a song, so it's not like the other yeah. world, and it's not a song song. You got an appointment in Midtown, you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I was still very nervous. I really want to do this song justice. It's good. It's so good. But you're gonna get the steps. Alex, how is it to actually be in the rehearsal space for the first time? I'm getting some flashbacks to that off-Broadway show I did. I'm like, okay, I can dance, I can do it. Like, I'm so in my head about that, you know? It's like, it's, it is, I didn't think it would affect me as much. It's just because it's specifically the dance rehearsals and like, Nico has great notes, obviously. I'm hearing him be like, you could be more Alex. I'm like, but I, that's what got me fired on the Off-Broadway show. So. I was cast in an Off-Broadway show around 2018. Up until this show, <laughs> the hardest I'd ever worked on anything, I was like, dancing my ass off. I was trying to memorize a very long script. The choreographer did not like me. I'm also not the best dancer. I'll be the first person to admit that. We just went through every single dance and she started like removing me from things and being like, just stand there for this one. And by the weekend, uh, I got a call from the director saying that I was fired, which sucked. Like it broke my heart <laughs> and it sucked and I, was really excited to make my off-Broadway debut in 2018, and I didn't. It really hurt. So let me tell you this. As someone who is, this is my second, I've been on Broadway. This is my second show on Broadway. I've been on the dance cast, I've been a dance cast, I've been out for You are enough. Okay. And I don't, I don't know if that's going to be but I want you to know, and I'm not lying, that you are good enough to be for it to be so So just trust it's already in there. I don't know, I feel like weirdly emotional right now. It feels like I have a team here. It feels like Nico's on my team. <laughs> I had a really wild. That we're here. I had a really New York time getting here. What would have happened? Uh, <laughs> if you can believe this, but I got in the cab. The guy who like does the picking of the cabs at the airport oh, yeah. said, uh, as I was in and about to take off, he flagged our, my driver down and said, "Hey, hey." says you're terminated. And he held up what? an iPad and said he was terminated. Like fired from his job? Yeah, and the guy's like, no, I'm not. And he's like, yeah, you are. And then the guy looked at me and said, sir, get out of the car. And then my cab driver peeled out. And he dropped me off just now. Pretty wild. Uh, it's good to be here. I've, I've felt very behind. This is sort of scary. It is a little spooky at night. <laughs> it's cool. I'm Keith Habersberger. I am the director of the Wizard of Friendship. I'm also obviously one of the Lou Berger boys in Wizard of Friendship. These guys have been going so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Each it. day has been like 12 hours. Huey's listening to tracks until like now. Once I see it in the theater on <clears throat> Monday, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm gonna be wild changing things that I've got. All the projections I think in order. I've got all the visuals without lyrics now. And it's a good time for you to come in. We got a lot of yeah. stuff done both yeah. days. Good night. Good night, <laughs> All the Lou Burger bros walking down the stairs. Here, it's all of us. We're all here and we're all feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big old Lou Burger right there. <laughs> it's awesome. Wow. The word is huge. <laughs> Lou Burger. Lou Burger. <laughs> Click below! <laughs> I actually like was really shocked at how smoothly all the plugins went. It was mostly just plugging right. Keith in today to what we've already created together. So and also like altering because he's also the director. So taking care of his like vision too. <laughs> It's really cool to see it with 
you know, broadway caliber performer since. It's, it's, I'd be lying if I didn't, didn't think it was super fucking cool. <laughs> I think it's tricky is as a director, I can't see what's happening, so I'm trying to like piece it together, and probably I'll have to review some tapes like a coach. Directing is is not really telling people what to do; it's figuring what people do best and making shaping the show accordingly. I think. Whoa. I'm a little big for this room. <laughs> is for him to arrive and say, Brian, speak the whole song. Yeah, I know. And he will say that. I know. If there's a part where we're not seeing the tune. Yeah. So give him a little speak singing. Yeah. So he can say, wow, we did the speak singing, but he sounded so good in the other parts. That's how I feel. I have a bad friend. Brian is not traditionally a vocalist. Not that he can't sing at all. It's just that's not what he does. He's a stand-up comedian. So I kind of thought it would be more of a spoken dramatic monologue with music support from the cast. Brian really wanted the challenge of trying to sing it well. My, my voice is generally silly. That is something that I can bring to the table. It was doubtful because I guess I didn't want him to fail. Obviously, I'm a try guy, and I'm always telling people to try and encouraging this idea of be okay with not succeeding. But I don't know if the whole audience will see that in this show that is so out of 10 performance and dancing and music and comedy and all this stuff and I think they're gonna love Flim Flam in every other moment. He's a delight. I, the audience will see him at the first and be like, oh gross, it's gonna be a gross joke, but then he's actually the most endearing, sweet character in the whole show. So I have this push and pull as, as a friend, as a director. May I have a moment for music, whatever you... Yes. You, you just heard Ryan like, actually sing Slim Time, this big number for the first time, full voice. How, how do you feel it's going? We're getting there. I'm not going to say it's there. It, it's not, you know, if I'm still counting, but I want it to. I want it to be for him, because I know this stuff that he really, really wants to do. Uh, so, we'll get it there. I'm learning to have more patience. You want things to happen quickly and work perfectly the first time, but it's an unreasonable want. I have been really impressed that Keith has been able to put ego aside. He's been able to lead with collaboration, and he really has been an empowering leader. I'm just having a lot of fun, but also this project, well, it means a lot to me for a few reasons. This show has, I think, everything that we can creatively do in every single, like, whether it's music or editing or video or all these things, it's like every single skill that I have acquired in my life is in this, uh, and I've never had anything like that before. I mean, all of us have done so much more work than we've ever done. Huey is like, I can do this. He's really take ownership and, and excitement on being the musical director. First note. Oh my God. Yeah, right, so let's, let me open up the sheet music so we can see what that note's supposed to be. I definitely didn't expect him to write out sheet music for everything and really arrange parts the way he has. Heart piece number one.
With the cast, I have really been seeking to empower them. They're all so talented, so creative, so hardworking. And it's a wizard of friendship. You ready, everybody? Just fucking sing, because I want to hear, I want Brian to hear what he's got supporting him back. You're my favorite music director. Really? Just fucking sing. Yeah, just fucking sing. <laughs> I'm just trying to empower them to be the way that I see them, which is worthy and deserving of so much success. This is sounding like a fucking arrangement. Oh, yeah. Yes, good. I'm actually gonna have us run it with the track, so it's oh. so worth it. Yeah. 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 Been, it's been three years, so in hindsight, probably not, but it feels like a long time. And a lot can happen in three years. It feels like home, and I've missed home. I feel emotionally rich doing what I'm passionate about and what is my passion for a living. So I'm super grateful. <laughs> We're doing it! <laughs> when we brought this very silly show out to New York City, we didn't realize that it would mean so much to the other people involved, uh, which just makes me want to make sure that the experience is not only really fulfilling for us, but also, you know, all of them. <laughs> we're finally on stage figuring out our spacing just to get it going and then after that we're going to start really teching. So we're a little bit behind schedule. Yep. Oh my god, now? <laughs> I need to go to bed. <laughs> we also need to get the scenes in at some point, and that's what I'm probably the most worried about right now, because there's all these cues and, you know, comedic timing things that, you know, have a delicacy to them. <clears throat> oh, not yet. Just the bog backdrop for now. And I don't know if we're poised right now to have the most delicate timing. Uh, 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 uh. What a smooth transition. He's tightening it. What's going on in there? So I will untighten it again too because it, it's on my head real good. So there we go. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Long fucking days. Thank you, everybody. Yesterday, neo-Nazis protested the opening of Parade, and they came and just harassed people and said a bunch of anti-Semitic stuff. So I definitely am a little tired today. It's a lot of emotional energy to think about that and deal with it. Uh, and it's not an ideal way to go into the first week end of shows to have that fear and frustration. But it's life, I guess, so we'll just keep living our lives and keep enjoying art. And they can go fuck themselves. Okay, we're ready? Well, let's get into places. Look here, everybody. Jari. Uh, it's a bit of a slower process than we hoped for, getting all the tech cues into the show. We're just trying to be patient. It's a stupid idea to put on a Broadway show. But we're stupid, so this is our stupid little Broadway song. Yeah, okay. Sounds better. Try it again. Here we go. Should we clear the stage? Maybe mute the mic. I think so. Can we? Clear the stage. First, let me just ask really quick, Yong, are you okay to go on or do you just reset? Yes, yes. We can go on? No, we no. Reset. All right, everybody, wizards. Wizards, just come back. Nice. Nice.
Nice. And then we hold it and then we we'll go like that until they're sort of unclapping. It goes straight into the next thing, so it's like an eight second thing. Maybe it's not. <laughs> okay, Asadari. There are so many things slowing us down, and the first audience is here tomorrow. I'm afraid we're not going to be able to make this happen. She's coming back! <laughs> Almost. Oh, oh, no, it's going back up now. Almost. Not yet. No, not no, quite. no, bring it. Almost. Almost. We, we almost got, got it. it. Oh, it really made Now we easy. got it. Yay. We got it. Yay. Yay. We got Ortega shells from the grocery store, and El Paso shells from the grocery <laughs> store, and Taco <laughs> Bell shells from the grocery <laughs> store, and soft shells from the grocery store. We got 500 more tickets to sell to have it sold out run but also we just need to sell tickets for the first three shows so our first show doesn't have 30 people because that will not make us feel good Hugh what are you working on just real quick I gotta do a uh, little tiny little tickle adjustments and then just finish up the interstitial music cues before tomorrow when they have to all be locked huh. Is it raining or are there tears? We'll never know. What is it? What's the purpose of it? It's mist. It's like a steam. So it's steaming my vocal cords. You know, in this process, nothing has really gone perfect, but we have each other. We're going to do our best tomorrow. Come hell or high water and people will watch it. I'm excited to see them tackle like a full like musical a choreo set. I've heard a lot about the projections, Keith, and like, you've seen them start to expand I mean, from a trio into a full cast. Um, I can't wait. <laughs> We've never seen Lou Burger live before. Nope. This is our first time. Yep. We've been fans of Keith and Brian since I made America. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. 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 Hey. Really long time. Deep cut. <laughs> that is a deep cut. I started watching um, the Try Guys content back at Bus Buzz, and I followed them to a new channel, and then found out about Lou Burger, and I've been such a fan ever since. I'm really excited to be here and see them live. How are you feeling about opening night? Um, very excited. We've had a really crazy tech process. We've still only done one actual non-stop run through, but we're so ready. We've been working so hard and all the pieces are in place and putting it in front of an audience is the best possible thing that can happen to the show right now. Yay, Kim go! You know that everybody in that audience is a Luke Burger fan, is so excited to be here. And no matter what happens, like on stage, off, the joy of live theater is that people come here to see them do their thing and they're gonna have a great time. <laughs> so many people, especially the meet and greet, have traveled from Florida or Iowa and, you know, this is very important to them. Mia, how about you? How are you feeling for opening night? I'm shitting my pants. My right vocal cord is slightly inflamed. I just gotta be careful, be cautious, and just be smart tonight. That's all. I kind of don't know how I'm gonna feel. I'm just, I'm really excited right now. Seeing my mom and dad, like, kind of help ground me again. I don't know. It sounds so cheesy, but, like, carry little Emily here, because she's been dreaming about this forever, and she's helped me get here, and I'm gonna make us proud tonight. And I'm fucking pumped! <laughs> <laughs> Batteries. I guess it died. Oh. It's on, but... Okay, let me text Sajari. Thank you so much. I didn't get in my head until this whole process until I was uh, stumbling and trying to find something to eat at the grocery store, and then I got nervous. And then I remembered who was doing my stuff, and then I calmed down. I feel like Keith and Keith in the band. When he does the little runway moment, and he's in the middle, and he's like, oh, everybody's here for me. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good. I'm excited. You know, it's been a lot of work, and I hope that everyone just has a lot of fun, both us and the crowd. You know. And now, please enjoy Lou Burger and the Wizard of Friendship.
to put on a Broadway show. You'll never bring back your money. You'll never get people to go. It's a stupid idea to put on a Broadway show. But we're stupid, so this is our stupid little Broadway song. for one musical in college. My audition piece was singing If I Only Had a Brain, and in a horrible twist of irony, I forgot the lyrics. You know, it's, it's the worst. And I, I haven't really gotten an opportunity to do anything like this. What a dream. <laughs> No use in hiding anything now. <laughs> I've lied to my friends. I've let them down. I should have told them right from the start what I really am. The way to make them care is for me to believe harder than anyone else in everything that I'm saying, especially when it's the most ridiculous. I'm a dick, a sad, sorry dick. I'm flim flam, the sausage. No, the. Working with Brian to bring his best self musically to this show. He has far exceeded my expectations for this process. I'm a penis. I'm a penis. I know how much this meant to Brian, and I'm always happy to be proven wrong when it's for someone else's, you know, success. Success isn't really determined by talent, it's determined by opportunities. I luckily had a lot of opportunity and have had a lot of success. Something that's important to me is to try to create opportunities for other people that I think are talented. Hey guys, it's me, the Wizard of Friendship. I'm a sorcerer summoned by really awesome friendships. I love when anyone in the show gets to have their moment that they are the star in the show. I know that for Alex, he's really someone who belongs on the stage. She's 
a great stage performer. Super hilarious, crushing it all the time, and I'm not giving him much direction at all. Making my off-Broadway debut in The Wizard of Friendship. You are being a good friend. <laughs> show that I wrote with Lou Berger. It felt like, okay, I'm like doing this the right way this time. We had an amazing opening night, but now comes the real Broadway experience of doing the same show over and over and over again, and somehow not getting sick of it. Anything could happen. <laughs> It's just been such a wonderful experience, and reflecting on it today as the last day, I definitely uh, will miss this more than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. I feel very lucky to share this experience with these three people, and I feel very lucky to have met all these new friends. You are enough. I think The Wizard of Friendship plays a lot of roles in our journey. It's definitely helping us like level up, I think, as far as our skill sets go. Getting the experience to work with Broadway caliber cast. Pete's dad looks exactly like two-time Tony Award nominee, Alex Brightman, the star of <laughs> Getting the experience of creating music that I shaped and helped people to sing. I'm so proud that Wayne Brady, Deshaun Wesley, Alex Brightman loved the music so much, they actually wanted to be a part of our album. These are all things that I'm really proud of. I'm almost happy that I got fired from that musical because then I got to go and have this experience and it, it, this experience feels like it has been extremely heightened for me personally because of what happened. One second, I'm gonna say something really quickly. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Uh, Tonight was our closing show. You can sit down. I can sit down. <laughs> what you just saw was the product of three best friends who refused to hear the word no. So we took our own money. <laughs> so we took our own money and put this out because we love what we do. We love making people laugh and making people happy and we're privileged to do it. Uh, I am so grateful and honored to be at Lou Burger with my two best friends and brothers. Hugh Hugh. <laughs> Thank you, Huey, for making the music sound Broadway caliber and working your ass off for the past month. <laughs> Keith, you came here and as always expertly steered the ship with talents you basically acquired on the spot. <laughs> Thank you for creating magic and bringing our vision to life. And on top of all that, you came here seven nights a week and are hilarious, perform beautiful music, and are ready to do whatever it takes to create an amazing show. <laughs> Promise. Thank you so much to our fans. We get to do this because of your support. We love all of you. Two years ago, I wrote this, the first version of this script and read it out loud to Keith and Huey and Keith's house. Today, we just did it for the 26th time in front of our 26th sold out off-Broadway house. Thank you. our theater for a month, so that's really cool to have a space like that for so long. Bittersweet. When it was closing, I had this sense of completion, but now I have a sense of like, no, actually this all has to get to my garage and get organized and stored until the next time we do it. And now we're gonna take Wizard Friendship on tour, so all the props and costumes are gonna go to my house, but then they're gonna go with us on the road, so be on the lookout for Wizard of Friendship in your city or just Lou Burger doing a show in your city. The shows are a blast. We love performing for you and we hope to see you at uh, one near you. I have a question for you guys. Was it a stupid idea? I thought it was a great idea. I think it was a stupid idea. But, I think it was brilliantly executed. No!
I'm just gonna play the music for Tiny Little Tickle My Anus. This is not a test, because I don't remember it either. <laughs> 